Hey guys, today we are playing School of Dragons and it is part two. I do not care, Warthog, Warthy Hog, whatever your name is. Um, so we had a very suspicious um, time last time. I got really suspicious and mad because two of my greatest enemies are now trying to be my friend. And I can't help it because the quest tells me to do all this stuff, so I have to do it. It's really annoying though. And I have to talk to Johan right now, so... And the new playlist will be put in both of the, All of the videos link... Um, all of the videos will have the playlist in the description. So, if you haven't watched the first one, you can always go back and watch all of the other episodes. If by now I have like five episodes, which I pr probably don't right now because I've just posted the second episode. Yeah, let's just get on with it because I've been talking a while. What an unsettling place and a chilling captain to boot. Did she... <laughs> what happened to my voice? Did she tell you why she has arrived within these waters? I wonder if she is planning on challenging Hiccup or the Dragon Hunters for supremacy. She certainly could with these weapons. Did she tell you anything about fighting the Dragon Hunters? I thought she was the Dragon Hunter! Well, I'm past ready to set sail far away from this warship. I am sure Stormheart wouldn't have any qualms with your flying away on Darth Raider. Perhaps you should return to Dragon's Edge and inform Hiccup. Oh, also, it was um, Star Wars Day recently. Re recently, Today is the 12th of May. Bit late, but it was May the 4th. Um, yeah. And my dragon's called Darth Vader. And I didn't even plan for that. <laughs> I need to pause this recording. Welcome back. Heather told me that you went on an errand with Johan. What's going on? Oh, I bet he's going to say, I'm... Are we going to agree with each other that Johan is evil? I don't approve of you going to face this storehouse without backup. Oh, I think he has a hint of suspicion there. I think he knows how the way that I feel. That doesn't even make any sense, but you know. Um... I don't approve of you going to face the Stormheart without backup, but thank you. I don't trust Harold. Neither! I don't trust Harold either! Sorry, I just shouted. But, Hiccup, I agree with you so much. But he's right. He did try to help us at Dragon Island. Maybe we don't have to be enemies with Nikora. I'm sure she didn't mean to drive the triple strike crazy. So we'll help her stop that. And the statue is a... Uh, Interesting. It's not what I prefer, but I see why she likes it. I don't know. Where can we put it? Let's leave it here for now. Yeah. Accidentally? Sorry to butt in, brother, but I can't watch you be hook-winked. Stormheart appears and apologizes for what happened right after. It smells fishy and Dagger doesn't like fishy. Yeah! Everyone, I agree with you on different parts. I'd wager my new axe that Stormheart did this on purpose as a warning. And I do love the way this she slices through the air. Ooh! God, you sound so weird. Anyway, Hiccup, you listen to Astrid. What? Will you ask her what she thinks? Okay. Sorry, I just had a pause of dread then. I just had a moment of dread. For like forever. Hey Astrid, dragon, get out of her face. Hi, how you doing? Daggers, well, he's a little crazy, but he's right. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I don't like how this feels. And this statue is too weird. Hiccup tries to see the best in people, but that might get us in trouble this time. Yeah, it does. Sometimes. Well, we can still take some steps to protect ourselves. Remember that sound we made with the deadly nana spines? Hiccup and I want to use that sound to set up defenses around Dragon's Edge if the triple strike ever came back. You see, all the objects in motion gather kinetic energy as it travels through the air. 
When two objects collide, each object transfers some of its energy to the other. The, uh, that energy flows out into vibrations, which in turn create sound waves. So we are going to try to create a device that can do that for us when we flip the switch. <gasps> Gosh, you said an awful lot then. I went out of breath, as you heard. We need a lot of wood logs to make these contraptions. Can you gather six wood logs from the trees in the wilderness? I think I already have like two billion. Oh, I spoke way too much. This brings me memories of when I first started. Because there was this quest where we had to chop loads of tr um, twigs. Um, from trees, um, I mean wood logs, but same thing to me, um, and yeah, it just gives me loads of memories and my dragon is losing, um, energy because of this. Um, I don't know how much we need. Um, oh, we did it. Great. Yeah, I know, Astrid. While you are harvesting wood logs, I set Heather and Winchier on task of whittling wood logs for posts that host the devices. Can you join up with Heather and see what you need to do next? Hello! How you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway. Hey, Winshire and I are really excited to help out. As you can tell, with the water wheel on the lab, I have a keen interest in inventions that can put up kinetic energy to good use. That's a type of energy created by moving things. I know. The water wheel powers a lot of my instruments, and this device will be able to create th the sound we want. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Go back to Dragon's Edge. Indeed, I will. Okay, hiccups made... Hiccup made blueprints for the noisemakers, and everyone's ready to help make them. Can you start off by giving Hiccup two wood logs? That should be enough to make the invention. You asked me to get six, Astrid. Turns out we only need one, um, I mean two. Hey there, I love talking about, oh no. Not more of the scientific method, Hiccup. Why, 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 why? Why do you do this to me? You know the scientific method isn't just a theory in some book. Yes, I know. It's really useful in the real world. Let me tell you how you use it. Oh! Is it literally- Oh my god, it's that video again. Pick up! I already know all this! You've said it like two billion times! It's getting really annoying now. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know, they don't like eels, there you go. When we try to create a solution to a problem, we need to know that there are many ways to meet all requirements of the problem. We brainstorm ideas that could work. When, then we try to make a model and test it. If it doesn't work, we fix and try it again. Astrid and I think that this device might fit our needs see it then. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah? That's an excellent sketch. Can you pass two wood logs and the instructions to Astrid? She is working on one of the devices. Give- Oh, this is why I need six of them, because I need to give two wood logs to literally everybody. Oh, dragon, fly. Do you want to give two wood logs? Yes. Tap. Oh, I'll get this done right away. I can't wait to see it working. The final helpers, the twins, I know, I know, they're flighty, but surprisingly reliable when it comes to the important things. Give the rest of the wood logs to Tough Nut and they'll make sure the last whistling machine gets set up by the far side of Dragon's Edge. Um, I don't trust Tough Nut and Rough Nut with stuff like this. They might try and low-key us. Oh well, whatever you say, Astrid. Whatever, I'll give it to you then. Yes. Tap 
Oh! Now that we have a valuable wood in our hands, Rough Nut and I will be able to put our own flourish onto this. What do you think, dear sister? Giant wooden octopus or statue of Loki on top of a pole? No. No, I got it. A whittled rendition of the greatest friend, Chicken. Uh, no, don't do that. This calls for nut council meeting. Tough Nut Chicken is your branch of the family. And this poll should be a proud representation of us both. Let's lock helmet horns and can come up with an answer. I can't read. Don't lose sight of the goal, guys. Okay, thank you for getting logs to all the right people. Thank you. This is great! With these posted around Dragon's Edge, we'll be able to we'll be ready if the triple strike returns here. I'm sure it could keep her disorientated a long enough disorient Long enough for us to stop her rampage. I'm really glad that we've established a strong defense, but Dagger doesn't seem to agree. I hate Dagger. Oh wait, no, no! Oh, I thought she said Harold! No, Dagger's alright. I don't mind Dagger. Dagger's my friendo. Okay. Hey, Dagger. I have my thinking helmet on, and the numbers aren't looking good, you know? All the defenses in the world aren't going to help us if our enemies can plot and plan and unleash hell on us. If we want to win, we have to take fu take the fight to them. That's the berserker way. Well, we're not berserkers, we're Berkians. If you know what I'm saying. Well, we're dragon riders. Yeah. Um, from Buck. Anyway, I'm going to continue on the next episode next time. Bye, guys.